Yeah, sorry random adolescent youth in this movie, you're still not more hardcore than Sarah from Labyrinth. Because whereas you guys had to take on biomechanical scorpion spiders in this movie, she had to take on the Bowie Bulge! And no one wins against the Bowie Bulge. It wins every time. It's evil. <laughs> The Maze Runner. So The Maze Runner is a movie starring all adolescent youth, everyone in this field that's surrounded by a huge maze. They don't know why they're there, all their memories are gone, then a new guy gets there, and of course now shit's gonna get real. Cause he's gonna be like, why are we all settling for this shit? Let's find a way out of here. Some people like it, some people don't, it causes some conflict, it causes some hope, but point is, we now have a movie. And it's actually a pretty entertaining, be it pretty imperfect movie. Yeah, the movie has flaws for sure, especially when you get out of the movie, you start thinking about it, you're like, yeah, that didn't make sense. But you have a good time. The acting in the movie, for the most part, is pretty good. The little brat kid from Voyage of the Dawn Treader, he's in this movie. He's the big militant guy. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought the little whiny brat from the Narnia movie would grow up to be Sergeant Eyebrows? But he is, and he's trying to maintain order in this place. Like, let's not change the game. And the main dude's like, let's change the game. And the game gets changed when a female also arrives. Someone didn't think this shit through. What was somebody like, hey, that maze is a complete sausage fest of dudes. All adolescents. Some of them haven't seen a female in years. Let's send one female up where there are no consequences among them. They can drop rocks on Piggy's head. They can commit really heinous sexual crimes if they want. Yeah, let's send a chick up there. It makes sense. And the point is, I like the tone of this movie. I like the fact that you know everyone is essentially in a cage. It's this big field. You know, it has a habitat of sorts to it. They have a forest in the corner. You know, for the most part, it's just, it's a field. In the middle of this huge maze, you look around 360 degrees, it's just a big wall. It's like the big wall of ice in the north. You know, in Westeros and shit, it's like that, but it's big and metal. And the doors of this maze will open and people will run it in the daytime they'll try to map it out but if they get caught in there at night the doors will close and then really huge biomechanical scorpions will kill them not only do you really get the confined feeling that people are cut off from the outside world you don't know what the world you don't know where they are who has them in this maze is it people is it aliens what i saw dark city this shit could turn really nuts really fast all you see is this field in the middle of the maze and you feel really isolated and i like that because you're supposed to feel that way and this movie has more than a few really intense chase scenes in a movie called the maze runner I want that. You're like, make it all go, okay. Oh man, that was an intense scene. Oh shit, that's my hand now. Cause I came to see that in this movie and that movie delivered that. This movie does drop the ball on believability though, for sure. I was looking forward to this movie being like a Lord of the Flies type movie, you know, where it's like, oh, order, where is it? It's not. Seriously, if these youth were left to their own devices to construct their own civilization in here, they'd be screwed. They do illustrate that that kind of was a phase they went through, but I just don't think that phase would end. Maybe I watched too much Walking Dead to have faith in humanity, but I'm just saying, I just think it would go that way. And this movie doesn't keep the intrigue alive for too long. It starts showing you glimpses and things that let you piece together. It's not even a piece together thing. It's like, oh, you showed me that. Now I at least know that the world operates in this realm. I'm speaking in code because I don't want to spoil it for you, but I'm just saying the first couple of glimpses, you're like, oh, okay, I generally know where this is going now. I wish they kept you isolated, didn't show any glimpses, no memories whatsoever, and then you can show it in the end and just kind of, you know, ah, it's crazy. Which I guess would be idealistic if the ending was good at all. The the ending's terrible, it's shit. Now seriously, it's one of those endings that the more you think about it when you're driving home, the worse it gets. The ending is like a thread and you keep pulling on it. It just unravels the entire course of the story and then you're like, oh, the story is just a ravel on the floor because it makes no sense because the ending completely deconstructed all of it and made it all irrelevant because the ending makes no sense whatsoever. It's one of those things where I was like, I that doesn't make sense for that. I'm not gonna spoil the ending for you, but honestly, a better ending, it would be this. They get out of this maze and then they see it. They see George Takei he's just like, hello, you've all been running the maze to answer one very important question. Do people really hate the McRib? Oh my. And that would be it. And you'd be like, oh, that's stupid as shit. It's better than the real ending. In the end, the Maze Runner, it's implausible. It doesn't make sense, but they do a good job at isolating you and you're rooting for these people to, you know, make it out of this maze or find their answers. It doesn't keep intrigue alive too long because of these flashbacks. I'd like to see a cut of the movie where they just take out the flashbacks. It has really intense moments. It was exciting in parts. And even if it's not exciting, even when they're just talking, it's all about the environment, man. It has a good environment. But the ending, shit, just leave 10 minutes before the movie ends, you'll be fine. And I will still say the Maze Runner is still a good time. No alcohol required. Oh my. God willing to make a sequel, who knows? Maybe with 3D being the craze right now, they'll call it 3D World Runner. You remember that game? Holy shit, I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> so The Maze Runner, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.